So how do I communicate from onboard Simpsons Donkey here? We'll start first with the emergency situation. If I'm really in trouble and I need a rescue, then this here is called an EPIRB, and this is the main form of distress communication that I have. It will send a signal to a satellite and alert the emergency authorities that I'm in a really distressful situation and need a rescue. I also have a smaller PLB distress beacon which is attached to my waist harness at all times and I have a third PLB beacon in my grab bag as well. Now I hopefully will never be in an emergency situation so I also have other means of comms on board and one of those is just a short range method of speaking to ships. So this is a marine VHF radio that I have installed permanently here. This has a range of about three to five seven miles depending on the conditions and I use this primarily to contact with I see a ship coming towards me or other yachts etc. Then how do I communicate with shore when I'm way out at sea? Well I have a very nice satellite communication system installed here. It's called the Wide Eye iFleet 1 system and this system here has a beautiful little sat phone so inside the cabin here I can call anywhere in the world on this handheld receiver here. As well as that, it also has an email function. So I connect wirelessly using my GTAC ruggedized computer here, and I can send and receive emails from anywhere in the planet as well. I have a special client email system set up here uh, from GT Maritime Plus. It's specifically designed for small boats working um, with satellite communication systems. It compresses all the emails, it filters out all the junk, etc., and it makes it very, very fast and efficient to send and receive emails. So a great communication system on board Simpsons Donkey here and uh, keep following the updates on rowing from home to home on the Facebook page and axonEverest.com.